for 18 years of my life, before I was saved in April 1987, I was a Roman Catholic. I grew up in a, a Polish Roman Catholic family. Part of my family went to a Polish Catholic church. Grandpa and me went to St. Mary's Star of the Sea Catholic Church in New London, Connecticut. This study is about the biblical Mary. What the Bible says about her, never mind what the Pope, what the Catholics, what tradition says. First of all, let's go right off the, right off the bat. Nowhere in the Bible does it call or calls Mary the mother of God. She's the mother of the human Jesus. Yes, Jesus is 100% human and 100% God. She's not the mother of God. Or having power surges. Maybe the devil don't want the truth being preached. She is never called the queen of heaven. Matter of fact, the queen of heaven spoken about in the book of Jeremiah is an abomination. And she's never called in the Bible the Virgin Mary, the Blessed Mary. She died. She saved. She didn't. She was born with sin. We'll see all that in a moment. You take whatever the Catholics teach about Mary and throw it in the garbage. So Acts chapter 1 verse 14. All these continue one accord in prayer and supplications with the women and the Mary, the mother of Jesus, with his brethren. Now they're not praying to Mary. They're in a prayer meeting. There she is in the prayer meeting. That's the last time she shows up in a prayer meeting. Okay? Matthew. Chapter 1. Verse 16. Jacob beget Joseph, the husband of Mary. They were engaged. Mary's husband was named Joseph. On the other side of town, when I knew, when I was in a rebellion in my life, growing, the other church I went to was Joseph, St. Joseph's Catholic Church on Montauk Avenue. Neither church gave me salvation. Neither church taught me the way. There are times I would go to, to the to the St. Joseph Church. I'd go up to, and I wasn't seeking Mary. I wasn't seeking Joseph. I was seeking God. And God heard that little Catholic lost boy at the altar praying. I wasn't saved. Who born Jesus, who was called Christ? You know it. Okay, so Joseph is Mary's husband. She's the mother of Jesus. Matthew 2.11 Is this anything hard? And when they had come into the house, this is the shepherds, not the... the um, maybe. No, this is, this is the, 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 the wise men. We don't know how many wise men there were. We don't know. 2.11 When they were coming to the house, they saw the young child, that's Jesus, not a baby. Young child, not an infant. He's about two or three years old when you read later this chapter, but we're not going to. With Mary, his mother, okay, this is Jesus, and fell down and worshipped him. And opened their treasures and presented to him. Gifts of gold, frankincense, and, myr and myrrh. They didn't give Mary the time of day. They didn't worship Mary. They didn't pray to Mary. They worshiped him. 13, Matthew 13. 
This is hard, isn't it? Matthew 13, 55. Oh, my nose. Is not this the carpenter's son? Joseph was a carpenter. Is not his mother called Mary? Okay. There's Joseph and Mary. And his brethren, James, Joseph, Simeon, or Simon, and Judas. All right, let's get something here. Mary is the name of the Old Testament Miriam. Mary means Miriam. That was the sister of Moses. Which Miriam had to, they say, re means rebellion. That's interesting. Judas is the Greek for Judah. James. That's James the less we're going to read. That King James Bible. These are the brothers, the sons of Mary and Joseph. Mary didn't give birth to the revised standards. She gave birth to James. She didn't give birth to the New International. She gave birth to James. By the way, James is a New Testament name for Jacob for the Old Testament. Okay, 2756. Nothing hard, is it? Have I read anything that has gone over your head? 56. Among which was Mary Magdalene, that's another Mary. The Mary of James and Joseph. There's, there's Mary, the mother of Jesus, and her sons, James, now you get this, you know, James, the last one, you get that this is another Mary. This is not Mary, Jesus' mother, because Mary, Jesus' mother, was the virgin Mary. She had no other children, and you got a Pharisee, you got a fallacy, you got a lie they teach because the scriptures say Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, which we just read in Matthew 13, that's Jesus' mother. And we know Mary was there at the death of Jesus because we read about her being at the cross. There she is. But they'll say that this is another Mary. So they can still teach, including Baptists, that, you know, Mary the Virgin Mary had no other children. Mark 6, 3. You got to watch out for it, traditions. Traditions will drive people into hell or rewardless. Mark 6 3 is not this the carpenter? Oh, oh. Okay. The son of Mary? Talk about Jesus. The brother of James, Joseph, and Judah, spelled with an S or H, and Simon, are not his sisters here with us. You know, they'll say those sisters are the nuns. They will lie their way out of a lie. This is the children, the male children, the sons, the female children, the daughters of Mary and Joseph. Brothers and sisters of Jesus. Mary did not remain a virgin her entire life. Her and Joseph came together and had children. Bible says. Chapter 15. It's Bible. I know the Catholics don't want you to read their Bible. Mark 15, 40. Because you read your Bible, you find out, oh, no, Mary did have children. All right, Mark 15, 40. There were also women looking on far off. Jesus just died in 38 and 39. Mary Magdalene, that's the other Mary. The Mary of James the Less, 
because there's another James, and Joseph, and Salome. Well, who's Salome? Salome is the female name for Solomon. Remember we told you Mary is the Old Testament form of Miriam. Judas is the Judah. James is the, Old, is the New Testament for uh, Jacob. Salome is the female name of Solomon. They named their children Old Testament names, but they had the New Testament, the Greek spelling. Interesting. That's the Virgin Mary that had children. <laughs> right, that's 15, verse 47. And Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of Joseph, beheld where he was laid. They saw the tomb where her son would be put. And the rock was rolled and sealed. Not only was Mary at the cross, but she was at the tomb. Not only did Mary, in her virginity, according to Scripture, conceive Jesus by the Holy Spirit, but after she gave birth to Jesus, her and Joseph had other children. I don't care what the Catholics say. I don't care what the tradition says. We are looking at the King James 1611 Bible and beware of the modern Bibles because they change her too. She's not a virgin. She's a maiden. Yeah, I just read the other day a 10-year-old crossed state line to get a abortion. So maidens can have babies too. The difficulty is the virgin having a baby. The difficulty for the Catholics is, well, the virgin had the baby named Jesus, conceived by the Holy Spirit, but after that Jesus was born, her and her husband had marriage bed relations, and they had other children. That Mary wasn't born without sin. That's Mark 15. Mark 16. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, that's the other Mary, Mary, the mother of James, and there she is again, Salon, brought spices, or sweet spices. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was also among the women that went looking to the body of Jesus on the first day of the week. Not called, it's never called Sunday. You know, you know what the Jewish pe people call the days of the week? The first day of the week, the second day of the week, the third day of the week, the fourth day of the week, the fifth day of the week, the sixth day of the week, the Sabbath. Look at Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning of the morning was the first day. The beginning of the morning was the second day. The beginning of the morning. The they never called Sunday. Named after the Roman leaders and the Roman gods. And that's your Roman teaching. That's your Roman Catholicism. That's your Greek and, and Roman mythology has gotten into your calendar. And we're going to date the, you know, the rapture. We're going to date God by Gentile Roman Catholic Catholic teachings. I don't think so. God doesn't use the, the Catholic calendar. God don't care what the Pope says. Okay? Luke 1. Luke 1, 27. A virgin, modern Bibles will change over there in Isaiah to, uh, what did I say? A maiden. A virgin is vows to a man whose name was Joseph, the house of David, so they can trace their lineage back to David. The virgin's name was Mary. Look at verse 28. Blessed art thou among women, not above women. The above women was J.L. in the book of Judges. Now shall have forth a son, verse 31, and call his name Jesus, Jehovah saves. He shall be the son of the highest. The Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, grandfather, David. 
She says, well, how shall I know this? Verse 34, knowing not a man. I'm handing relations. And he says, Gabriel says, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. The, the highest shall overshower thee. That holy thing, holy thing, shall be born thee, shall be called the Son of God. Okay? Look at 46. Mary said, My soul does magnify the Lord. Capital L. Verse 47. My spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. Mary acknowledged the Lord as her Lord and as her Savior. She didn't save herself. She doesn't save anybody. That's Mary's prayer. To her cousin Elizabeth. Got that? Uh, Luke 2. Little Bible. Little Bible stuff. Luke 2. 19. Mary kept these things and pondered them in her heart. The life, the words, and the activity. Jesus, uh, Mary put it in her heart, not her head. Many Christians miss out because they don't do what Mary did. They put it as head knowledge, not as heart. Or with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. She put it in the right spot. Look at verse 24. To offer sacrifice according to that which was said in the law of the Lord. A pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons. Now you run back to Leviticus chapter 12. That is a sin offering. They circumcised the child, verse 21, eight days. Leviticus 12 says that woman is to offer a sin offering. If she can't afford a lamb, she's to offer the turtle doves or the pigeons. That's a sin offering. But she had the lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its leash was white as snow. In that hand she did it hold, the one that holds my soul. The lamb was in her arm. The lamb was her child. She was poor. They dress her up in this blue. Blue was an expensive dye. She didn't wear blue. She brought, not to be bad or anything, she brought the cheapest offering that God allowed her. For her sin. Forget what tradition. 44. 244. But they, supposing he had been in the company went a day's journey and they sought him among the kinsfolk and acquaintance. When they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem seeking. Mary lost Jesus. When he was 12 years old, they leave Jerusalem and they left Jesus behind. Chapter 3. Verse 31. In the line of Mary, 31, Jesse, 31, David, then Jesse, 32, 34, Isaac, Abraham, Jacob, Judah. She was Jew. Jesus was not Gentile. On the line of Mary, he was Jewish. He wasn't African. Go all the way back to 38, the son of Adam, the son of God. That's the line of Jesus Christ. That's the line of Mary. You go to Matthew chapter 1, you trace Joseph, the adopted father, the line of David, Solomon, Abraham. John 19. John 19. 
hey, this is Bible. Anything too hard? Too hard if you're a Catholic. I know you come up with a million ways to say you're wrong, you're wrong. I come up with the Bible and say, I'm right. Now there stood at the cross Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Jesus' aunt. Mary, the wife of Cleopas. And Mary Magdalene. There's that Mary Magdalene again. There's a lot of Marys in the Bible. And what the Catholic Church is, they'll get you confused with the Marys, that when it's really the Mary, the mother of Jesus, well, it was another Mary because she didn't have any other children. Look at John 2, 5. There, there, this is the feast in uh, Cana, the, the marriage. His mother, Jesus' mother, Mary, said unto his servants, who said, Whatsoever he saith unto you, Jesus, do it. Realize that's the last words in the Bible of Mary. I know she shows up. The last place you see her is at a prayer meeting. The book of Acts. The last word she says, there's no other words of Mary being recorded. She said, whatever my son says, do it. Nowhere does Jesus say, worship his mother. Nowhere does Jesus say she's the mother of God. And when Jesus said, Brother J James, you come here, Sister Salome, come here, he is he's telling you she's not virgin. Not what he called his brothers and sisters over. Now look what he says in 2 4 talking to, her, to his mother. Woman. Look at 1926, John 1926. Talking to his mother. Look what he said. Woman. Jesus never called his mother mother or mom. Happy Mother's Day. He called her woman. Now he says to his disciple, verse 27, he said to his disciple, Behold thy mother. But he never called her mother, mom. Mommy, Mama. He called her woman. Do you see it? It's up on the screen if you got the video. Go and check. Go check go check the words of Christ in red. Where he says, Mother, mommy, mom, mama, speaking to Mary. That's what the Bible's got to say. I showed you every verse. I didn't show you no church pamphlet. I didn't show you no tradition. I didn't show you what my pastor said. I didn't show you what my deacon said. I didn't show you what my, my educators from my school that, that gave me my doctorate. I didn't tell you anything what they said. I gave you the scriptures. and I don't know how many chapters I gave you. Plenty of them. I gave you the last time she showed up in the Bible. I gave you the, the, the last time she spoke. Now, if you want to look at this. Queen of Heaven. If you're watching the video, you can see this. Okay. God says, uh, and Queen of Heaven shows up five times in the Bible. They made cakes to the Queen of Heaven to pour out drink offerings. There's your mass, your wafers, and your, your drink unto other gods. That may provoke me, God, to anger. Then Jeremiah 44, 17. Well, because we haven't done it and we burned incense and drink offering. This is why all the troubles in the world has happened. Because the Queen of Heaven is upset with us. 
Jeremiah 44, 18. Yeah, you know, we got we to gotta make the gods happy. 44, 19. You know, pleading, oh, you know, troubles and problems, and the queen of heaven's all upset. And they never call her Mary. Actually, she's called Astrid. She's called Estar. Easter. And God said, You're gonna you're gonna worship the Queen of Heaven. You're gonna do everything you said you're gonna do, 4425. And Judah will get sacked by the Babylonians. And I showed you places in the Bible where they say, no, it's not Mary. You know why it's not Mary? Because she has children. Catholic Church teaches she never had children but Jesus. She brought a sin offering. Well, we got time. Leviticus 12, I said. Leviticus 12. And 12.6. And when the days of purifying are fulfilled for a son or daughter, she shall bring a lamb for the first year for a burnt offering, and a young pigeon churl dove for a sin offering, and the daughter of the tabernacle of the congregation unto the priest, who shall offer it before the Lord to make atonement for her. She shall be cleansed of the issue of blood. This is the law of her that has born a male or female. If she be not able to bring a lamb, she shall bring two turtle, two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, one for a burnt offering, the other for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for her. Luke 1, I mean Luke 2, I think. Luke 2. Luke 2. Look at Luke 2. Okay, here. Luke 2, 21. You'll find this in Leviticus 12. Eight days were, were accomplished with circumcision. We didn't read that, but that's Leviticus 12. And named the child Jesus. They named the, ch the male child eight days which is named for the angel before he was conceived in her womb. So when Gabriel spoke to Mary, she had not conceived yet. When the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, Leviticus 12, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to be presented before the law. Lord, as is written in the law of the Lord, Leviticus 12, every man that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. To offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, Leviticus 12, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. What did we say those were for? One for a burnt offering, the other one for a sin offering. That's what the Bible says. 